Alright guys, we are back for another painting tutorial. And this is sort of a twofold. Uh, in one way, it's a how to paint the new uh, Volkite cannon that comes on the new uh, Demos Predator. But on the other hand, it's also a tutorial for how to paint in a... I'm not exactly sure what I'd call it. It's just kind of a different style. Um, it just involves leaving the black primer under what you've already or under your colors and not going all the way to the edge. I don't know if I really have a name for it, but it's a technique I've used before on uh, some Vikings, so nothing at all like uh, like this, but I figured I'd just give it a whirl and see what happens. So, uh, like I said, this is the Predator, new Demos Predator for the Horus Heresy. Uh, you could also use it in 40K, just fine. Uh, and I have done nothing special to it. The turret just happens to fit perfectly in the paint handle, so that's always nice. Uh, I'm going to start with some matte white from the Army Painter. Uh, you can use any white, though. As far as I'm concerned, white is white is white. Um, I'm sure there are some purists out there who can tell me the difference between all the different shades of white and all that, but for my purposes, I just need white. So, I'm going to come along here. I'm actually going to use a bigger brush for this. Uh, where is my bigger brush? Oh, right here. So, I'm just going to get some of this on my brush get the fuzz off my brush and then on these uh on the parts here that are the like coils I guess you'd say I'm just going to run my brush along the the top edges of these just like this trying to avoid getting white inside the coils I just want it on the outside same thing on the other side. And I don't have to get right all the way up to the edge. Because again, that's kind of sticking to this as our style. We're not going all the way up to the edge. And I have no idea if this is going to work, to be honest, on, uh, on something like this. I just looked at this turret and it looked like something that might work with this style. So we're going to find out. So then I'm going to do the same thing, just being a little more careful, so a little bit less paint on my brush here. And then I'm going to do the same thing right here. Just getting the raised edges like that. Alright. And then I think, I just noticed that this has some white, or this has like, you can see the inner workings of the gun, so I'm just going to do it in there as well. That'll focus on that, sort of. Just gonna get it in there. That'll work. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry, and then we will come back and we'll add some contrast paint to that. Alrighty, we are back, and I'm gonna use Luxion Purple now, and I'm just gonna put this straight over all the places we put the white on. Um, and if I get it a little bit over the edges, that's okay because we are gonna paint some regular paint over most of this gun so and it will uh, it will cover right over the purple no problem there we go. And I'll do it here as well and I let this dry for a little bit of time but um, if I'm not 100% sure if something is dry and I want to move on to the next step I mean you could just be patient that's probably the best option but uh, if you're impatient, then it's always good to go in the order, the same order that you painted with the first color. Because that way, you know, this has had the longest to dry, then I jump to here, then I jump to here, and then I'll jump to inside here. So, just a little tip if you're impatient like I am. There we go. All right. So, uh, I'm not going to necessarily, I don't need to let this dry for our next step, but I am going to put a cut in here just so I can maintain smaller videos and I'll be right back and we'll do the gold all right we are back and we're gonna use some necro gold now from scale 75 um, there's not really an equivalent of this in um, Citadel but liberator liberator is a little bit lighter but it's not bad you can put some null oil over a liberator and it'll look pretty close um, but I just really like Necro Gold um, from Scale 75, so I'm going to use it. 
Uh, and this, the camera really doesn't like focusing on this skinny gun. It likes to focus on the background, so I gotta hold it over my hand so it focuses properly. So I apologize if you don't like looking at people's hands. Um, but now, we're gonna paint these sections here, but we're not gonna go all the way into the recesses here. I'm just gonna leave some black in there. of the gun here and I will come back and do the rest of those obviously but I'm just gonna move on to the other spots that we need to get gold so I'm gonna get this right here again just leaving a little bit of black in between bits here and this one as well being careful not to nick this black um this turret is going on a Dark Angel Predator. So the, a little bit of gold on there. Get most of it off. Um, so the armor, armor panels are gonna stay black. Um, but, not but, um, so I want to try to minimize the amount of gold or any other color that I get on them. So what I'll probably do is just dry brush those armor panels and then, uh, and do the same same thing I did in my Dark Angels Legionnaire video. It still sort of uh, feels weird to say Legionnaire related to the Dark Angels because playing 40k for so long, just constant, constant jokes about oh the Dark Angels are traitors, blah blah blah. That you know still feels wrong. But I understand everyone was a Legionnaire back in 30k. Gonna get this line here now. I'm trying to leave a little bit of black in between these two bits here. Doing my best anyway. And then just gonna get the other side. And then I think that's the last gold part. Obviously, besides those parts, I am gonna go all the way around that gun. Or the tip of the gun rather, with this gold. But I will let this dry, uh, look over it, make sure nothing else needs to be gold, and then if not, I will come back and we'll do the silver. Alright, we are back and our gold is all nice and done. Uh, make sure, if you're going to follow this, that you get inside the gun there and on the sides here. I will be honest with you guys, I'm not painting the bottom of the gun. I know that will be sacrilegious to some of you, but uh, the bottom of that gun is never going to be seen. Ever. So I'm not worried about it. Uh, what I did also do, though, is put white on these little things here. I think they're... In, when I look at them, they look like maybe the energy of the gun would be shining out of those. So I put white there, and I'll put the Luxion purple on there a little bit later. But for now, we're going to move on to plate mail metal from the Army Painter. Uh, the equivalent of this is probably Iron Breaker for Citadel. I just have this. I'm just going to use the end of this bottle before I move on to the next one and whatever's in stock that's what I'll buy so I'm going to get all the plates up here now with this same technique as we've been doing leaving some black in between the panels and the reason I decided to do it on this gun just to see if it's possible and if it looks good, uh, just is because there's just uh, very well-defined panel lines on this gun. Um, so it's easy to keep your brush out of them. And uh, yeah, that was really about it. And also, you know, like, um, while just a tutorial on how to paint this Volkite cannon might be useful to some people, I feel like a, a new technique or a new style of painting might be helpful to more people. So, knock out two birds with one stone there. And honestly, even if you didn't really like how the, the panels look like this, I think the Volkite 
style that we did, just white with the purple over it, I think that could translate into almost any paint style. So, And you could always um, go farther on that. You could highlight those coils again with a light purple, and then even highlight that again with a white. I mean, you could do all sorts of, uh, you could do like three or four highlight layers if you wanted. Um, you could go nuts with that. This will be just fine for me though. I'm gonna go along here and I'm not gonna be concerned with getting all of the, covering all the black around the rivets. That will help this style a little bit here. I'm just kinda gonna paint over them and whatever gets colored gets colored. But if some doesn't, I'm not concerned. There we go. Flip it around and do the other side. Just like that. All right, so I will go and do uh, the, uh, the rest of these panels here and here. And then I will come back and we might add some more colors. We also might call it done. We'll see. All right, we are back and we're gonna do two more things and then call it. So first, I'm gonna take some black metal from scale 75 and I'm just gonna do the rivets in this um, as well as a, one other little detail on here. Um, just to differentiate them a little bit from the surrounding metal. Uh, I'm just going to do the big rivets, I should say. I'm not going to do all these tiny rivets. They're fine being that color. Uh, but I am going to do the rivets up here. Just to kind of make the this area of the tank look a little more done. It won't be done because that's not the focus of this video. But I just wanted the pictures to look a little bit better. So I'll do that. I may as well get these other these rivets right here also. There we go. So I did that, and then I'm going to take some Null Oil, uh, and specifically this is the older formulation of Null Oil. And I'm just going to put it on the black that's in here in the middle of the gun, just because it looks like primer still. I don't want it to look like primer, so this putting the Null Oil on here will uh, give it a similar finish to the rest of our paint. And make it look like it's painted rather than just primed. Um, I could go in and edge highlight that with like some gray or something, but I'm not really concerned. Um, I think what I set out to do with this video was very successful. I think that gun looks pretty sweet. Um, just leaving the black in there, especially as you get farther away, you know, from a couple feet sitting on the table, I think that gun's going to look awesome. So yeah, um, right about now you should be seeing some still photos of this. Not really much more than you'll than you'd see just in the video as I'm painting it, because it is just a gun, but nonetheless, the nice white background and the gun sitting there. But yeah, um, so I think this style could work on a lot of things, but apparently it works pretty well on this Volkai gun like I thought it would, so that's cool. Uh, I don't really know exactly what I would call this paint style. Um, I had it recommended to me, like on um, those Vikings I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I had that recommended to me years ago by someone at a convention paint class so I, unfortunately, I don't even know who to give credit to. But if you're out there, you know, thanks a lot. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody for watching. If you like the video, feel free to click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the next one.